What do we have in there? I don't know. You made it. <laughs> well, you made the chicken and the bacon. There's... Oh, I thought this was fish. <laughs> this is chicken? Chicken of the sea. Just kidding. No, chicken, this is chicken of the land. I put, land chicken. I put some uh, beets in there, avocado, red onion, uh, some pine nuts, and um, Chez de la goat. That's right. Mine is a different version. I just do beets, some cheese, and avocado. Oh, and this is like my favorite dressing in the world to go on anything. You want this one? Okay. Nice. I just made a salad for Sailor, and I just made a salad for my bunnies. I fed Leo. Today, I'm pretty excited. Um, I have a lot on my plate this morning. I still have to edit last week's vlog. And if you already saw it, then I was editing that the morning of. Today is a pretty exciting day because I'm about to get um, a cage together for a new bearded dragon that I am actually fostering. I just started working with, um, I gotta pull up my phone because it's such a long name, Small Breed Rescue of Southern California. I interviewed to be a foster, um, they need fosters for like a lot of their reptiles and stuff like that. So we're gonna go pick Fernando Sassy Pants up today. It's just really Fernando, but I've named him Fernando Sassy Pants. Um, he is a bearded dragon that hasn't been handled for about a year now. And I don't really know the reasons why. I'm gonna learn a little bit more about him today, but um, because of that, he's a little skittish and always thinks that someone's trying to feed him or threaten him when they come in his enclosure. So this is a good day to start training because he'll be in a new environment that he's not familiar with which i'll need to give him a little time to settle in but i think i'm kind of going to jump right into the training and everything with him and working with him so that he can go to forever home and yeah i'm gonna pass out these salads and get started with my day Heading out right now to go pick up Fernando Sassy Pants. We're not even sure if Fernando is a male or a female, so because he's been so feisty, it's been hard for anyone to look under there and check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Once I pick him up and his cage is basically ready to go, so we will see. Just picked up Fernando, which I'll show you in a little bit, but I swear, I have really good luck today, I guess. I just went to Jersey Mike's to get Nick a sandwich, and after like making the sandwich everything that he would hope and dream, <laughs> uh, I realized that I somehow at some point took my, you wanna find the gas pedal, bro? Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> um, I left my wallet outside of my purse somewhere at the house, and so, I'm, I didn't have a wallet, so she like came and was like, oh, it's $18. And I'm like, I don't have a wallet. I don't have Apple Pay set up like a dum-dum. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go search my car and fi figure this out, like see if I can find cash or something. Cause she already made his sandwich. And then um, I come back and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I can't find anything in my truck, but I do have a picture of my card that my boyfriend just sent me. Can you like manually punch it in? And she was like, yeah, we're not supposed to use this machine. So she gave me his sandwich and chips for free, which is so nice. So I told her, thank you so much. And I was like, I'm gonna have to pay this forward somewhere else later this week, whether it's buying the food for the people behind me in a drive-thru or something of the sort or tipping extra well. So that was really nice. Um, and that's great because I know Nick is starving, so thank goodness I'm not coming back empty-handed. I just wanted to put out a PSA. 
if you're going straight or turning right and you have a green light and there's someone that's taking a left into your lane across traffic, you have the right of way. <laughs> I just had a guy that was in, that was pulling a trailer, which you should be driving way better than this if you're driving a truck and a trailer, you idiot. But he had a green, I had a green, and I was going right, so I have the right of way. He's cutting across traffic, so he does not have the right of way, and just cuts me off and goes, like all slow. And so there's two lanes, so I'm like, I'm gonna go in the right lane then and not honk at him and just let him do his thing. And then he cuts into my lane and honks at me. I'm like, okay, our, I don't know where you learn to drive, but that's not actually how that works. When you're cutting across traffic on a green and not a green arrow, you don't have the right of way. Just got little Fernando sassy pants home. He's so little. And is he really a he? Hi cutie. You ready to go in the feeding tub and try and eat some food? I've been told that he is a very good eater. Doing. Welcome to Kristen's Barbershop. Clean it up, fam. We just need, like, he wants some of this not so long right here. And then trim this up. And this is gonna go, not right now, but. I just don't think that you're supposed to have, like, right above your ear, you're supposed to have, like. Well, maybe you should get a real hair stylist. Four inches of hair. <laughs> <laughs> attractive looking. We're doing like some foils in the front and the top and then this back. We don't really know what we're doing yet. So we might try and rinse out some of the pink. My Arctic Fox package did not come in the mail. So I don't have any hair color. So I'm not really sure what we're gonna do there. Here is my hair. I haven't styled it yet. So I need to wash this so it's like a little like thicker and stuff. Cause when you have extensions, they have like coating and stuff on the outside. So most of the pink like actually came out. So we decided not to go pink further because A, my Arctic Fox box didn't show up in time. And then also I just, colored hair is really difficult when you have extensions because your natural hair fades at a different rate and look than your extensions. And it's just always forever a balancing act. And I don't really have time for that in my life right now. So I chose to simplify and go blonde. I might do a very light wash of pink, maybe for the baby shower or something. But the pink that I did was just so dark that it like wasn't coming out of the root of the extensions. And it's just kind of a bitch to deal with. So anyways, um, I'm about to throw some laundry in. Nick was off work for 10 days uh, from being sick and he is back at work this morning. He started at a brand new station today. Like every year, the guys like um, will bid on new stations. So he's at a different station. I'm pretty happy about it because it is not only closer to our house, but it's less busy during the day. Like each station has like, if you're like a fire wife or a fire girlfriend, like you, 
where the hell are my slippers? You know this, but like every station has like a reputation for being really busy at night or really busy during the day or like whatever. So basically this station is less busy during the day. It's closer to the house and having a station that's like less busy during the day is like super key for me <laughs> and getting stuff done, especially when you're doing a house remodel, because when he's at work for like four days, and he's busy at night and busy during the day, he doesn't have any time during the day to communicate with me at all about tr upcoming trips or bills or builders or gardeners or just, you know, life stuff. And then on his days off, he's exhausted because he's gotten no time to sleep during the day or at night. So I'm pretty uh, excited. I'm gonna make some more coffee. So I'm pretty, wait. <laughs> I don't know how to work the light switches in this house. So I'm pretty excited that he's starting in a new station and that we'll have a little bit better of a balance because I was like, literally like, you know, when they have the one day off in between, he'll be sleeping in super late and it's because he's exhausted, you know? And it's like, you're not gonna be able to do that when we have a newborn. Like you're gonna have to come home and your day off the next day, you're gonna have to like parent with me, like, you know? So I think it'll be nice. Um, I just got a workout in, which is really nice. I haven't been able to work out like the past 10 days really in the mornings like I like to because Nick was kind of resting and sleeping in a little bit and all my workout equipment is in the bedroom. So finally worked out this morning, feels really good. I did some lower body weights and I also did about 45 to 50 minutes of cardio on the treadmill. I have a jam-packed day today. It's Saturday. Oh shit, it's Saturday. I've got some things that I need to do that I hope I can do on a Saturday. But um, later today, I've got, to give you a little idea of what we're doing today, I've got a 4D ultrasound appointment, which I'm pretty excited about. I don't know where the footage went from one of these ultrasounds that I went to, but it was like a really not great experience. And I'll tell you more about that after this one maybe, or before. So I'm not just talking your ear off in this one clip, but anyways, the owner of the ultrasound place is doing this one for free as a, as a you know, sorry for the last time, which is really, really nice. So I'm excited. I'm 24 weeks tomorrow, and I feel like I'm gonna be able to see her face a little bit more than I ever have before. Every other 40 that we've done, she just looks like a little blob or a little alien, so she's definitely much bigger. I just weighed myself. Look at that, oh my gosh, maybe I, have I popped? Have I popped, y'all? I might have popped. I feel, it feels like hard and bloated. Um, so what was I saying? Oh my gosh, what the hell was I saying? I just weighed myself and I weigh 159.4, which is, about 3.4 pounds more than I've ever weighed in my entire life. <laughs> so I'm trying to like, I'm trying to just be like, yes, you're pregnant, it's pregnancy, but honestly, I just haven't been eating super amazing either. And uh, I'm blaming it on my busy schedule and not having a kitchen to cook in. I have a camp stove in the garage, but yeah, you guys have heard that a million times. So. I'm going to the grocery store today to kind of get some more healthy things um, that I can cook. It's just difficult to cook with no where to cut things and you guys know the drill. So um, another piece of exciting news is that we ordered, we didn't, but our builders ordered our flooring yesterday as well as like all of our tile. We're finally like completely settled on the flooring that's going in the entire house and the tile that's going everywhere in the kitchen and the front step by the front door. So I'm pretty excited about that. On Monday, we have a, an electrician coming out and doing the entire job. It'll be done, ready to go. He's also putting can lights in our bedroom, which I'm pretty stoked about because it's very dark in our bedroom. There's like no light at all other than our bedside tables and it's very dark. So he's doing that. And then we also have the plumber coming to finish plumbing, like just fixing some stuff in the kitchen that the last guy that we had kind of doing some of our contract work like effed up a little bit. So yeah, it's 
It's moving along, guys. It's moving along. Best fabric softener in the world. I've been using this since I was like 14 years old. Obsessed with it. Trying to get ready right now. I need to film a video or, oh my gosh, this is so messy. If you could see this setup right here. I just actually unpacked a bunch of my stuff that I brought from Nashville about six months ago that I haven't been able to get into because it was at the Arctic Fox office for a while. So all of my little glitters and stuff, I finally got my freaking hands on and I'm super excited and more liners because I haven't had hardly any options in this department. Oh my gosh, there's purple glitter for a really long time. So it's nice to, hi Piper, it's nice to, no, no, it's nice to have it and have some more options, but it's funny because I'm like, literally, I guess I didn't need all of this makeup that I had here. And I purged a ton of makeup when I left Nashville, like, or actually when I got, well, in Nashville and when I got to California, when I was going through it before I brought some of it here, I guess, which was actually recently. Where the hell is my, I guess I'm using this. I have so much of it still, way less than I did. Holy crap, way less. But I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, I guess I really didn't need all of this makeup because I've gone six months and I've only missed a couple items, you know? And there's just so much new stuff coming out. I'm like, I don't really know what the point is of keeping all this. So I think I'm actually gonna go through it and get rid of like a huge, handful of it and kind of just like start fresh almost because I've been just living with what I've got here for a while and it's been doing me just fine. So story time. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my experience at the ultrasound place. Um, and I'm not going to say the name of the place right now because it's kind of irrelevant to me. Like the owner is like making it better. So anyways, um, so basically I'm trying to decide if I want to do a base with this. I'm going to do this little, uh, eyeshadow. This is block party by dose of colors. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do a base because I think I'm going to do a base. So I went in there and I had an appointment for just a five minute ultrasound and you know, they're pretty quick and stuff. So being there, you have to kind of soak it all in and I show up there and the front desk chick has like her daughter with her um, behind the desk and immediately my brain started jumping to all these conclusions and I was like, okay, chill out. I'm sure she's got it in her control and this kid's not going to like, you know, be distracting and whatever. Cause honestly, that was my first thought. I was like, why is there a kid here? Um, and she was very mouthy already to her mom. So I was like, oh. So anyways, we go in and the ultrasound starts and I start recording for not only Nick and my family, but to vlog in there. And as I'm doing that, the door opens and her daughter comes in and she just starts back talking her mom and like, her, like just, just being a little brat basically. And you know, like four year olds can be. So then she starts climbing on all the furniture and I can't even hear myself think, let alone like vlog and like in, have this like experience with my baby and like enjoy it. So basically, sorry, it's like really hard to like do stuff and talk at the same time. I'm like out of breath. <laughs> so pretty much my entire appointment was just ruined. Um, and then 
it was over before I even knew it had begun. It was kind of crazy, like it was so quick. I mean, five minutes is very quick, but it's even quicker when you have a distraction of like a four-year-old just back talking their mother, not listening, climbing all over the furniture around you. And it was just like, not a pleasant experience. And then she was like, okay, we're done. And when she said we were done, her daughter, and I can hear that there's already the next family out in the waiting room. So I get off the table and before my pants are even up, her daughter is like opening the door. And, you know, thankfully those people didn't walk in or see me, but like, that's like an invasion of privacy. And so anyways, I, and you know, the lady like never apologized about her daughter being there or how distracting it was or offered me more pictures or more time or nothing. Like I just basically got like a really shitty experience and <laughs> was like, okay, bye. Thanks. So I kind of like let it go. And I was like, you know what? Things happen, like whatever. Kids will be kids. And then I started telling a couple people. I told a friend of mine and then I told Nick and they were like, uh, you need to say something about that to like the owner or like in a Yelp review or something so that the owner can see it and like know what's going on. So I opted to just message them on Instagram and ask if I could see this one specific person that I had seen all of the other times because this chick that saw me with her daughter I had never seen before and so what I did was just kind of nicely said I didn't have like the best experience and I really wanted to see the one girl that I was kind of used to seeing so of course um it was the owner that saw my message and was responding to me and so she was like oh my gosh like do you mind telling me like what happened so i told her what happened and i was like you know the lady was really really nice like i i didn't i was kind of going back and forth whether i wanted to say anything about this because things happen you know i get it when you have kids and stuff but it was just like yeah i paid full price and just like didn't have a great experience so she was nice enough to give me a free um, 4D appointment, which is way more expensive than the $5 one, or $5, I mean five minute one. And so that's what we're doing today, later. And I'm going back to see the girl that I originally saw there, which made me really like the place because I liked her attitude and I liked her whole vibe and everything. This is like, this is really pretty. I was thinking I was gonna put this glitter on top, but I don't think I need and I'm out of breath. About to film a little like lip tutorial. Be oh my gosh, this light is so freaking bright. I was getting asked the other day what lip combo I had on and I find myself always doing kind of like the same lip all the time. I'm kind of like a nude girl and I don't really do much else. So I figured I might do a little updated tutorial even though the items that I'm using are like <laughs> so little and so used. <laughs> I figured I'd show you guys how the magic happens. Look how messy my desk is. Just look at it. Oh my gosh, look, that's so crazy. Oh, big yawn, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe she's not tongue-tied then. Look at it sticking out. I know, yeah, she's good. That was really cool. Um, I I don't know what I expected. I, I just kind of just thought, oh, maybe she's not big enough to see like details and stuff, but like that was really cool. Like that's the first time I've gotten to see like her features, like up close and personal it feels like which is just really cool. Like sometimes I'm still like, am I seriously pregnant right? Like am I growing a human right now? And yeah, I am. <laughs> it's so crazy. So that was like, I don't know, that was really cool. So I'm headed to Target right now. We need to get some more paper. My printer is out and I'm trying to do calendars right now and to-do lists and I'm out. I've actually printed on the backs of like old paper that I don't need to like try to like put this trip off longer, but I gotta cut, I gotta get paper and I have to get uh, Nick some dryer sheets for the station and then I'm heading over to his brand new station 
uh, to say hi, to meet the other two guys. There's only three guys total at the station, which is kind of odd. Usually there's like five, six, um, sometimes more. But yeah, only three of them, including Nick. So it's raining, the weather is disgusting. Like all I wanna do is like hang out inside. And I swear the one time I put makeup on and actually go out in public, it's raining. So luckily I got a really close parking spot to the door. <laughs> so gonna head in there and I'm like trying to think if there's anything else that I need at Target. Target's Target though, you guys know how this goes. Like you go in there for one thing and you come back with like 50 things and you spent like $150 and you're like, all I needed was, was the one thing. So wish me luck. Oh my goodness. So I went and visited Nick at his new station. It's funny, it looks like um, like a little like, like a little lodge or something. And then inside it looks like a little bunker. It's so weird that there's only three of them <laughs> in there. Um, I took him some ice cream. Uh, well, him and his crew, some ice cream. And he needed some dryer sheets. So I stopped by Target, got some dryer sheets. Hi, Piper. Hello. Right now, um, I just I just got into bed and, um, well, I'm gonna go wash my face in a second, but I've got my calendar here. I am a little late doing this up. So typically what I do is I have a calendar for feeding all my animals. This lighting is just getting tripped out. So typically I have a calendar for feeding like my animals and then like cleaning cages and when and whatnot. Now I need a calendar for the foster bearded dragon, Fernando, which I think is actually Fernanda, but we'll see. Um, to kind of like document, you know, all the, uh, whatchamacallit, like all the like timeout and not timeout, but like, you know, like training, I guess, with the lizard. And so I really like like my calendars and all my paper stuff. So I don't know if you guys do as well, but iMom, um, if you just type in Google iMom printable calendars, you'll find like printable, like a bunch of different types of printable calendars for yourself, for kids, um, faith-based ones, just all sorts of different fun stuff to print out. That's just totally free. I don't know, I found them, a f I found that site like a couple years ago and I've been using it ever since. So I just finished watching the last trash TV that I had. So I don't know really what I'm gonna watch right now. Oh, I think I have the new season of Married at First Sight. So that's what we're gonna be watching tonight. And um, <coughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and a great weekend. And we will see you next week. Bye guys. Why are you bringing that nasty ball in the bed? Huh? Why are you bringing it? Why are you bringing that on a bed? That's nasty. Isn't it nasty? Look at your little lips. You look like you're smiling.